we go. We're gonna start out by making my favorite thing ever, which is my hydrating mineral tea. I will not go on and on and on about how many vitamins and minerals are in this tea, but all I will say is that nettle is basically like nature's multivitamin. That is how many vitamins and minerals are in nettle alone, and we are adding so much more than nettle. This mineral tea is so nourishing, and it's so easy to make. It's full of calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, selenium. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. Vitamins A and B and C and D and K. The list goes on and on, and all you're gonna need is two tablespoons of nettle, and then two tablespoons of red raspberry, and then I like to do a table, like a tablespoon and a half of oat straw as well, and they all have their different benefits, but this is just so nutrient dense and packed. I cannot even believe it, how amazing it is. It's so nourishing for your adrenals. It's super supportive to blood sugar, detoxification. It's just very nutrient dense. And then my mason jar holds about nine cups of water. So I basically just fill it up and add some honey to taste. I usually use about four tablespoons of honey and then you let it steep overnight and you're done. And it's absolutely amazing. So next we're gonna make our little cherry gummies. These are so good and a great source of glycine, which is an amino acid that's very abundant in gelatin. And it's really important because glycine pay, plays a huge role in actually our bile production, which is really important that we have healthy bile flow so that we can clear out old hormones and we can actually like have hormone balance. So it's a really important protein. And all you're going to do is take one cup of whatever liquid that you want and add in three tablespoons of honey and then a quarter cup of your gelatin. So I melted the honey into one cup of cherry juice and then I just simply whisked in that fourth of a cup of gelatin and then poured it into my molds. It was that simple. And now we're gonna move on to my favorite. I love this chicken salad, it's so good. So the main thing that you really wanna do to make sure this chicken salad is gonna be flavorful is salt your chicken. And then I just boiled the chicken for about honestly like 12 minutes and then you just mix it up in your stand mixer and it's so quick and easy. And then you just you need two gala, I think it's gala, gala, gala apples. And then I used about two to three celery sticks. Chop that up in my chopper. The chopper makes it so fast and so easy. I love my chopper. It's my most used thing in my kitchen. And then I did like maybe like a cup of grapes and then I sprinkled in a little bit of raisins and then two teaspoons of your apple cider vinegar. This is gonna add in the acidity and make it nice and bright. And then I really like this MCT oil mayo. So it's like coconut oil mayo, which is awesome. So then you're not gonna get, you know, the canola oil or really the more processed oils. I just love this coconut oil mayo. And then and then you're gonna add in the juice of one lemon and then I added in like a nice big tablespoon of Greek yogurt. That's just gonna add an extra protein. And then about a tablespoon of honey and mix it all up. This was the best chicken salad I've ever made. A little bit of fresh pepper and salt, you're done. That is perfect. Oh my gosh, that's the best chicken salad I've ever made. By the way, I just got these beeswax wraps and these are amazing. They're super grippy. Into the fridge we go. Next up is another Jello recipe. This is Bo and I's, this is Bo's like absolute favorite. It's my favorite too, but he's like obsessed with this. So hydrating and it's so good. So I'm actually gonna mix in some coconut water this time for a little bit more potassium. So we're gonna start out with one cup of coconut water, add it into whatever pan that you want to make your Jello in. And then we're gonna add in, of course, First, our gelatin. So I'm just gonna probably do like two big rounded scoops of it. Sprinkle it right on top and then this is going to allow it to bloom and you'll really see like what that looks like. You can kind of watch it in the pan sort of take shape. And then should I do a third one? I just really like to add like as much gelatin. I'm gonna do like a half a scoop of the third. Just a half scoop, there we go. In the meantime, we're gonna get our guava juice, which is really rich in vitamin C, and we're gonna do three cups of guava juice, and you're gonna bring it to almost a boil. You just want it really hot enough to melt down the gelatin. So we're gonna do three cups of that. And I get this organic guava nectar from Costco, it's really good. And then I'm going to add, of course, a grapefruit element. I've never added a flavored packet to our Jello, I've done the unflavored one and it was so good. It was like absolutely amazing and so incredibly hydrating because you have your potassium, you have your sodium, and you have your magnesium, which is exactly what you need to stay hydrated quite literally. Potassium and sodium work together to actually act as like the gatekeeper of the cell and they allow it to open up 
and receive the water and allow the water to flow in and out of the cell. So when we think about hydration, we actually don't just wanna think about water and just like chugging a bunch of water. We wanna think about minerals. And I just love Element because they literally give you everything that you need and nothing that you don't. They don't add any artificial sweeteners, dyes, anything like that, and a lot of electrolyte companies do. And I just love that they don't. It is literally just your electrolytes and the delicious grapefruit is so good. I am obsessed with the grapefruit and it's only here for summer. So we're gonna um, heat this up. Where is my little pan? Add it in our packet and we're gonna pour this in and heat this up. And that's the other thing too, your magnesium in there as well is really important for our neurotransmitter health, our sleep, muscle relaxation. Minerals are like the spark plugs of life. And I just felt like the coconut water with the guava and the grapefruit, how tropical and just like refreshing and summery does that sound? That just sounds so good to me. So we're gonna bring this to almost a boil and then we're gonna add it in. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I wish you could smell it. I tasted a little bit of that with the grapefruit. With the grapefruit, my mouth is watering. It's so good, I'm, I'm obsessed with the grapefruit. It's the best flavor and it's only here for summer, it's so sad. Potassium makes your cells sensitive to thyroid hormone, so if you don't have enough potassium, your body is obviously, you're not gonna be as sensitive to thyroid hormone. We really wanna make sure that we have enough potassium. So if you're having thyroid issues, it's really amazing how minerals can really change your life. They've completely changed my life. Our thyroid is really like the gas pedal of the body, if you will. So whereas food is like the gas in our car, if you will, thyroid hormone is like the gas Pedal. If you don't have enough potassium, if you're low in potassium and your gas pedal's just not going, you're not really pushing, it's not really pedal to the metal, if you know what I mean. It's You're just kind of like lightly pressing on that gas. It's very slow, slow metabolic rate. When we have low thyroid, we have low energy. And so making sure that we are giving our body what it needs through minerals really has such a huge impact on our thyroid, which is then gonna help our body, if you will, push that gas pedal down so that we can go and feel good and feel energized. And if I could go back and tell myself anything when I first started, just like, you know, getting really into health and nutrition and everything like that, I would seriously say Cambria start with minerals because I think too, we're just so incredibly, our soils are depleted. And if we're not actively taking in minerals, it's just hard to get enough of them. It really, it really can be. That's why I love Element because it's so easy. Literally add it into your jello, make it taste so good. I'm so excited to actually try this. I think this is literally the best thing that you could do every single day. Such an easy thing that you can do for your health and just for literally every single cell in your body, quite literally. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box and you can go to drinkelement.com. So that's drinklmnt.com slash Cambria. And with whatever order, definitely get the grapefruit because it's only here for summer and it's gonna be gone soon. It's already the end of July. And you are going to get a free sample pack with your order, which gives you all the flavors that you can try out, all the different flavors and figure out which one is your favorite. And we're gonna go put this in the fridge right now. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, this is one of my favorite summer salads. It's so hydrating and it is so easy to make and it's super simple to prep in advance as well. So it's just cucumbers, tomato, and then Kalamata olives. And then you can add your feta on top and we're gonna make a super simple dressing and it's gonna come together really fast and this stores really, really well in the fridge and it's absolutely delicious. It's super easy to pair with a quick protein. Easiest dressing ever, you're gonna add your dried oregano. Don't be shy. Red wine vinegar. And I don't measure any of this, I so just give it a nice drizzle. And this is kind of a big salad. So extra virgin olive oil. Teeny tiny little bit of maple syrup, just to cut through the acidity. And then I need to go pick a lemon off the tree. Juice of a lemon. Fresh cracked pepper. Good, mix it all together. Beautiful. This stores really, really nicely in an airtight container for a few days, but you wanna have the feta separate. So I'm not gonna put all the feta on here, but that's a huge component to the salad. It really adds such nice acidity and saltiness. But that is that recipe, and we're gonna move on to the next. Okay, now we're gonna prep out one of my favorite soups of all time, probably my favorite soup of all time. It's perfect for summer, it's so refreshing. It's a, lemon, it's a Greek lemon soup, it is so delicious. All you're gonna need is 10 cups of broth, so I personally like to do bone broth because that's gonna add an extra protein, which is wonderful, of course. We have eight cups of bone broth and then we have two cups of water. 
And then you're just gonna add in two celery sticks or stalks, is it stalks? I don't know, you're gonna add in your two celery, a whole onion, just pop it right in there, one carrot, and then four garlic cloves. Then you're gonna add a tablespoon of salt, and that is it. That is how easy it is. Bring it up to a boil, and once it's at a boil, we're gonna add in our chicken, and then we'll just let it simmer for 40 minutes. In the meantime, while the soup is cooking, well, I'm just going to prep out my sweet potatoes. So this is gonna be a super simple, easy carbohydrate that'll be really quick and easy to add to whatever meal, whether it's like a scramble or you wanna make like a quick little bowl. Reheating the oven to 425. I'm gonna roast them for about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna flip them every 10 minutes. By the way, I finally got like a sheet pan that I feel like is gonna last forever. So you know that I have like all the carrot, like I have a full caraway set. But on Prime Day, I decided to buy a sheet pan. This is the best sheet pan that I have ever had. I feel like all my other sheet pans, they just immediately get destroyed, utterly destroyed, no matter how hard I feel like I try to keep them nice. I love the sheet pan. It's so big, it's very heavy. Just throwing it out there that it's the best sheet pan I've ever had. So if you're in the market for a sheet pan, it's literally amazing. I actually didn't know I could love a sheet pan as much as I love that. And you don't want your potato, ooh, I'm gonna fall off there. You don't want your potatoes to be too close together because then they're not gonna get nice and they're not gonna have like a nice bite to them. They're gonna be mushy. That's why I also like this sheet pan because it kind of spreads out everything really, really well. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of coconut oil and this is my absolute favorite coconut oil that I have ever used. You are holding the purest coconut oil ever crafted. Instead of over processing like all the other virgin coconut oils on the shelf, we use a, I don't even know how to pronounce this, centrifuge, I don't know what that is, that simply spins the oil out of the fresh coconut cream. How amazing is that? Our unique method is 100% raw, preserving all the micronutrients. Dignity raw coconut oil. You're in the market for a good coconut oil. That's the best one I've ever used. Put a little salt on there. And coconut oil, again, is a really good source of lauric acid, and that's really, really amazing for our gut health. It's very antimicrobial, antibacterial, and it's just really gonna help to protect against pathogens. 425 for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna stir it up, and then we'll put it back in for 10 minutes, stir it up, do it one more time. That's a big onion. <laughs> Add it in. Okay, so to finish off the soup, you're basically gonna take those veggies that have been cooking in there for about 40 minutes, and you're gonna put them into a blender, and then you just wanna pour in a little bit of the broth just so that it can blend. Blend all of it up, make sure that you get the garlic in there and blend it, and then pour it back into the rest of the soup, and then this is when you're gonna add a half cup of rice, and let that cook, and while the rice is cooking in there, you're going to get the zest of one lemon, and then do the juice of two lemons and then you're gonna add two egg yolks and whisk that up and then what you're gonna do is you're going to temper temper it all together basically so you want to add a little tiny bit of the hot soup at a time to your egg mixture just so that the egg mixture is not going to break and then that way you're gonna have a nice smooth and delicious soup so then you want to add it back in and add back in your shredded chicken top it with some fresh parsley and this soup is absolutely delicious it is my favorite soup of all time you are going to love it and if you've never made it this is your sign to make it because it's so good. And then I just stored up the sweet potatoes. This is the next day and this is what our meal prep looks like and how it turned out. It is absolutely amazing. I, I'm sipping on my mineral tea right now. Well, actually, I'm taking my probiotic because I forgot to take it this morning. It's my favorite probiotic, just thrive. This is my favorite tea ever. It is so good. It is so mineral rich. It's absolutely incredible. The taste is amazing. And the best way to make it too, the best way to make it is actually with a French press. So I just took the other one that I had poured it in and then you just pour it into your mug with your ice and it's so good it's so refreshing very summery and then we have our little gummies it's kind of hard to see them but they turned out so cute cherry one turned out and it's cherry flavor very adorable and then of course the gummy bears it just turned out so cute these came in handy this morning. I actually made just a, a scramble and then I just tossed in some onions with those potatoes and it was so easy to have before church. It was really quick. And then a little tip. So when I made the soup, which is obviously delicious and I feel like it tastes even better the next day, but uh, with the chicken, when I was cooking the soup, I added in extra chicken. So that way we could throw it into a wrap or just like have it. Obviously we made the chicken salad, which is so good. This is the best chicken salad I have ever, ever made 
made, you are going to love this. Even Bo, who's not the biggest fan of chicken salad, he was like, this is the best one that you've ever made. It's so good. It's just the dressing. Everything about it is absolutely incredible. And this keeps really well. And I just store it in the fridge. It goes really, really fast. But this is awesome too, because it's such a great quick source of protein. And again, it tastes even better the next day. And speaking of tasting better the next day, this salad tastes even better the next day. You can top it with feta, but honestly, I just tried a cucumber and I was like, it's absolutely amazing. Like just it marinating is so good and it makes it so flavorful. So this is definitely a hit, such an easy summer salad. And then we have not tried our jello, but I figured we could try it together. Again, a super simple source of carbohydrate, but it's also because it's so rich in the amino acid glycine, you can pair it with your chicken or any other kind of protein and it really um, makes it anti-inflammatory. So glycine is wonderful. And then of course I already touched on this, but the soup is absolutely my favorite soup in the whole world. It is so good. It's perfect for summer. The lemon flavor is so vibrant and bright and delicious, and it's just absolutely amazing. So cheers to our meal prep. It was so much fun, and I really hope that you love these recipes as much as I do. And I, this is just a very realistic meal prep for me too. I feel like having meals that are just really quick, like I had this when we came home from church. It was super easy, and again, I threw that in with my eggs, and then this I can have later on tonight, and you could even throw some chicken in there as well to kind of make its own thing or you could even do this and make that its own meal you know what I'm saying or you could do like a soup and salad kind of a deal that's just what is easy for me and then obviously this is just the most nourishing thing of all I love the mineral tea so much again I forgot to take my probiotics so I'm just gonna take that really quick but anyway that is what our meal prep turned out and actually let's go ahead and try this because I'm really excited to try it I'm gonna cross arm but both go this way <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. How good is that? It's always been my favorite. <laughs> I know it's your favorite. Was that with element? I added the grapefruit. How insane is it? That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. I want more. Okay. It's really good with the element. It's so good. This is like my favorite. I feel like it took it to another level with the yeah. grapefruit. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting to take my probiotic. I keep forgetting to take it. I keep having it out and I keep forgetting. It's my favorite probiotic. Just try it. So good. Hope you love these recipes as much as I love them. They are so good. They're perfect for summer. I'm going to end this right now so I can see what Bo's going to do after this. But don't forget to click thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell to be notified. What else could I say? I'm kind of scared. Okay. What are you doing? Making it rain. You didn't even pour it on my head. Oh, here. Sorry. No, no. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my chicken salad and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You don't like raisins and you love the salad. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good.